Hey guys, what is up Dave here with a brand new video on the channel and today is going to be a little bit of a file discovery slash file excavation uh, video on a very popular subject right now um, or it was at least when I recorded this video uh, probably not actually that popular anymore or more stuff has come out so you're going to see more videos like this this is an exploration of the files for the Gwent card game, aka the Witcher 3 card game that leaked uh, actually today when I'm recording this. Uh, February 10th or 11th is when it actually leaked. Ended up finding a legit download link. Uh, I will be attempting to find legit links for uh, the rest of the stuff that leaks as well, but the hackers that hacked CD... C CD Project Red, I think that's the right name. Jesus Christ, I'm terrible. Um, CDPR, they want a million dollars for some of the stuff they have. Uh, actually, I think they want seven million, but they're starting the bidding at one million. So, it's kind of nice of them to give something free, I guess. But let's. there's supposed to be another leak tomorrow. So I'll be paying attention for it, and I'll be trying to get it all day. But we're going to go through Gwen, because... It may surprise you how this game is made. Uh, I haven't actually gone through the files yet, but this should be a hint that it's made with Unity 3D. I don't know why there's so many folders and subfolders, but it is what it is. So we're going to start things up by looking at the XML file. It's nearly a megabyte. That's a very big XML file. No, it's not. It's not nearly a megabyte. What am I talking about? Anyway, useless file. Uh, there's a P12 file here. That's for them uh, compiling their um, APK file. Here's their key store. So actually, anybody right now that has this key store file, they can be very malicious. They could make a uh, APK or Gwent and sign it with their signature which is just insane of a thought. But let's keep going. Some Visual Studio stuff. This isn't anything important. I don't know why I clicked it. Uh, actually, we're going to work backwards here. So here's Workspaces. Galaxy Services and Settings. Let's see, Common. Uh, this is just going to be a bunch of JSON files. Nothing fun there. Yeah, that's all the same. Services. Secret. I like secrets. Hmm, a secret key of some sort. Settings, here's Android, iOS, Windows. Not a surprise that it's got all this. We go working data, nothing there. Oh, that's their rewards data system. That's interesting. So you can actually see how their reward system works. That's pretty cool. Test framework, ah, testing stuff. PC, Xbox, and PS4, that's awesome. The stuff that we actually want to see is definitely PC. I don't have Unity installed on this computer yet. I keep forgetting to put it on here. Um, maybe I'll do a part two to this where I actually import all of this into Unity 3D, because that'll be really cool. So, not PC hosted for PS4 and Xbox, that's... XB launch. First code is available. Okay. Interesting. Cool. Interesting. Report resources. There's some stuff here. There's like logos and stuff. Uh, actual logos. Cool. Project build settings. Nothing really all that crazy here. This just shows you what plugins and stuff they're using. So like they have their audio manager, a cluster input manager, dynamics manager. Uh, nothing that I see in here that is really all that out of place from a Unity game or that looks that custom. Network manager is probably going to be custom. And honestly, with this leak, people are going to be able to learn a lot from a major uh, gaming studio as far as how to network manage their games. This is going to help a lot of people if they choose to go in and look at it. So just a manifest thing. Bug splat. 
This is a uh, crash handler and like a debugging tool. Assets, assets, adventure, and that. So we'll start with assets here. Dependencies, gameplay, prefabs, coin, texture. And there's a single coin texture here. All those folders for a little coin. Okay then. Jesus Christ, textures, atlas. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. That's pretty cool. So, okay. I'm honestly thinking about trying out this game. I know nothing about The Witcher. Um, I've never played that style of game. I am looking at, I have a bunch of games I got recently at Savers, like Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas. I got a bunch of really cool stuff for PC. And I actually made sure to build my computer this time with a disk drive. So I'll be able to actually play these games that I buy that are still on disk. I want to find the code. And I know it's going to be in here. So automated tests. That's cool. That's going to be fun to dig through. The notepad plus plus this. I'm going to close some of this stuff. I guarantee you this video gets taken down. I don't know how long this will be up, but it won't be up for long. Automated testing framework, bypass CLVC, bypass all. Interesting. So, I bet you there's going to be some game exploits as well. Bundled assets, so this will tell you all their assets and stuff, their GUI frameworks, how they do everything. Here's the actual, here's some code. Mono manager, so... Are they still compiling this with DLL? That would be so stupid. Update main uh, manager, it looks like. There's going to be some hacks for this game for the next couple of months. I guarantee it. Yeah, all the code is here. It's going to be so much fun to dig through this in Unity. Their asset bundles, their cache, their web service client. That's something I'm really interested in. The localization, tools, bug splat, Jira, whatever this is, config manager, card view tools. This is going to be really cool. I wonder... So, obviously, like I said, I've never played Gwent. I don't know anything really about the game. I just know it has to do with The Witcher 3. What would be really cool is to take this and convert it into like a Pokemon TCG <laughs> some stupid thing like that so I want to look at their plugins I'm going to skip right to that so there's an Android plugin obviously for compiling it to Android apps flyer I believe is for ads better streaming assets so that's for helping them stream from their server to this which that makes sense there probably is a server for this somewhere and it downloads assets, which I would very much like to know what that server is. But here's all their scenes. That's pretty cool. There's a test scene. That'll be sweet to see. I want to know what their server is for this. Matthew, it's probably in here, actually. Is there any, like, HTTP in here? No. Okay. Our file assets. Yeah, there's nothing in here that would make me think it's going to download something. I would love to know. Ah, better streaming assets. Many thanks for downloading. Nice. Foobar! <laughs> I love it. I love when I see Foobar in files. I don't know why. I'm surprised they just left the README there. Crimson UI. I've heard of that. Delta DNA. Not familiar. Face punch stuff. Okay. Galaxy, Galaxy Overlay. 
iOS stuff, input stuff, mobile bridge, UDP, Unity channel. Huh, there's a lot of stuff in here, that's for sure. Prefabs for the game, like cards and stuff. These I have no way to view on my computer right now because they're saved as .prefab. If they were PNG or whatever, obviously I'd open them up, but I just can't do that right now because I don't have a way to because I forgot to install Unity. But you know what? I'm going to do that uh, sometime soon. I want to go through the adventure folder. Flowcharts, adventure. CSVs. Okay. I wanted to see what was in there. Rewired remote configs. That's interesting. This could be exploited fairly easily. Let's see. That's just version number, server config. Okay. Nothing. That sucks. Uh, so I would have to know. I want to know what their main server link is. Those? Cool. I just want to know how they actually connect to their servers with the. I want to know what the URL is. Because that could lead to us being able to download more assets for the game, which would be nice. Billing mode, known supported versions, here's some settings. Okay, nothing useful there. I'm sure that what I'm looking for is probably in something like this, like a tools section, FPS counter, okay. It's somewhere in here, network maybe, downloader. Download Handler. I guarantee you it's not a simple HTTP or whatever. But if it is, I'm going to be very surprised and kind of sad that it's that simple. Because they could do way better being a big publisher. I don't think I'm going to find it as easily as I thought, though. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going to find that stuff. It's somewhere in here. Probably, maybe OAuth. Hmm. Maybe what I'll do is I'll get an APK that's already compiled and dig through it, too. Because that might be easier than just going through here all the time. Especially when I don't know the code very well. I could definitely get Unity 3D and find it more easily too by just searching. Actually, I do have Visual Studio. There should be a solution file somewhere in these folders. Let me take a look around. See if I can find that solution file. And I bet you... We can just open this. There needs to be an SLN somewhere in here. If I do, we'll do it from here. Star.sln. We should find a solution file for Visual Studio, unless they're not using Visual Studio, which would be a little bit strange. I don't really know what else they would use. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what else they're using because it would have to be. This is really interesting. It's really interesting to dig through because it shows how a big first party studio works. And it, it really intrigues me at least.
But as far as maybe other people, maybe you're not the same as me, HTML generator, that's pretty cool. I definitely want to get this opened up in Unity 3D. I don't believe I have it installed. I do not. I should have done it during my Visual Studio install. I thought I did. I did not. Okay. So, maybe in the next video, I'll go through, import this into Unity 3D, and we'll take a look at it in more of, with a more in-depth method and have some fun with it. See if we can get the game to just compile. Because that's what I really want to do. We'd have to figure out what version of Unity they're using, which shouldn't be too difficult. Because we have their pre-config, we have this stuff. Uh, begin their private key. So this is their private key and stuff like that. Yeah, nothing that... Maybe this kind of stuff is important. I don't know. Somewhere in here... We'll say their Unity version. There it is. So they're using 2018.4.2 F1. So this is a very good example of the one thing I hate with Unity is its updating process. As you can see, even this first party studio is still using an old version of Unity 3D that is outdated by almost two years as of april 2nd it'll be outdated for two three years so when it comes down to things like updating your unity 3d it breaks a lot of your code depending on how you're doing things or how your plugins work many times when you're using third-party plugins or community made plugins which it looks like they're doing um if the plugin creator decides not to update their plugin you have to stick to your old version of Unity. You update Unity and suddenly you have a bunch of bugs because they changed the API and you have to code it differently. So this is one of my gripes with Unity is trying to get it to work with one of your old projects when you go to update. So, but that's going to be the version that I download very straight up right out the gate is 2018.4.2 uh, F1. And I'll come back to this import the game into unity 3d and we'll talk about it some more so i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh i know this wasn't entirely fascinating because like we already have the source code and stuff i don't this is kind of out of my realm is digging through source code rather than digging through an already compiled project but if you're excited for part two let me know in the comments down below if you want to actually see it in unity 3d and I'll make that video happen. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.